apologies for keeping you waiting. You've been here a while it's now. It's fine. Don't worry. It's nice. We've had a cup of tea. It's fine. Yeah, we're all looking after you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, excellent. Uh, you've uh, you've arrived in Dublin today, and uh, yes. and and gorgeous weather. Beautiful. You picked a gorgeous day. I know. We've been in Amsterdam and Paris, and it wasn't su- such beautiful weather. So it's really lovely to be in Dublin. Well, congratulations on your recent nomination for the Mercury Music Prize. Thank you. Uh, what was it like on Thursday to be at the at the ceremony as a nominee? I suppose it was. It felt really special, you know. Um, I never thought I was going to win, and it was just a great way of um, the people that have been involved on the album um, to celebrate. And we were all there, and we were all there together, and that's quite rare. And so it was just really lovely. It felt like a wedding, actually. Because <laughs> yeah, I saw pictures of you in, in that in that black number that you, yeah. you got going on there, yeah. girl. Uh, are, are you now part of the celeb world where designers are? clamouring to dress you and give you free clobber. Mm, I wouldn't say they're clamouring, but I, you know, that dress was made for me by a wonderful couture designer in Paris and that felt really fabulous. But, um, no, it's fun to dress up and, you know, yeah, I'm lucky enough to have people that maybe sometimes want to let me wear their clothes. Uh, you didn't always want to be a singer, did you? Because you've had a, a various other jobs. I've, yeah. been, I've been digging here, Jessie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You worked on the football desk at the Daily Mirror. Well, I, I did work experience. I wouldn't say I worked on there. I, I did get a byline, though, which I was very happy about. It was when Sol Campbell moved from um, Spurs to Arsenal, and um, they let me have Jessica Ware's reports. Um, so, yeah, I, I wanted to be a football journalist. I was mad about Manchester United and I wanted to write about them and I would have been very biased so it's probably better that I didn't become a football did, journalist. Did you have the, have the headline when, when he moved from uh, Saul Campbell moved? Did you have to create the headline and was like, mm, oh... No, I'm... somebody else does that actually. I mean, unless I guess you're... They, they have like people that are amazing at headlines. Um, well, they have a headline guy. Yeah, well, they did then. I definitely didn't make anything up. I was just happy to be going. And what, a, what a job. You just come into work nine to five. What do you do? I oh, man, I just write the headline. <laughs> it's usually <laughs> the, the headline person. Yeah, no, but some of them are so good, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. uh, now, also, also, you were an assistant to E.L. James, the author of Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I, mean, I worked opposite her at uh, a TV production company and... Um, and she, I kind of was there when she she started writing. Really, she you know she was a she she had a really big job in TV, and and she just was mad about Twilight. And through being mad about Twilight, wanted to start writing her own fiction. Um, and so yeah, she used to give me some chapters to read and stuff. Were, were, you, were you there when she was working on the trilogy at the well, time? I mean, it was like her first go at writing and she was writing a novel and she asked me to read it and it was racy as far as I remember. And I think it was probably the beginning of Fifty Shades. Yeah. So did you suggest any ideas for the novel? Or? I, to be honest, I was pretty flustered. <laughs> it was, you know, I was having my cup of tea. Oh, really? And it, yeah, it was racy. A little, a little hot under the collar. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, let's talk about your album, Devotion. Okay. It went top five in the UK. Yes. Irish Times here has said Devotion is an album of smart, superbly realised, nuanced pop music. A record Sade would, uh, could conceivably have made if she was still running with the club crowd. Uh, oh. tell, me, tell me about the record. How, how, would, you, how would you describe it? That's really nice. Thank you, Irish Times. Um, uh, I, um, I guess I wanted to, it was my first attempt at writing and, and performing and, and recording. So I kind of just tried to combine all the things that I love from hip hop to folk to pop, um, to electronic music and just tried to have a bit of everything in there. So I'd quite like it to be thought as a kind of British, um, electronic soul or mm-hmm. something like that. When, when it, does it transfer to, the live setting is it easy to transfer from the whole studio setting you made the record now I mean Mm. you need to to tour and promo this is it easy to transfer to the live thing yeah I've got a great band and um, and it's a combination of electronic and and you know triggering um the, the, the beats that are electronic beats um, with live music with guitar and bass and drums live drums so actually it kind of takes on a different personality live which I think slightly bigger than the record which I quite like so I like that it kind of has two different personalities the recording the, the album and then the live show 
Uh, we were just uh, we're kind of looking forward to your gig tonight. We got a couple of tickets which we'll oh, give okay. away in just a few moments okay. time. Okay, after you sing first. Okay. But I was checking your Twitter account today, and uh, and you're you're planning on on uh, visiting a, a Dublin restaurant. Is that right? Oh, <laughs> you're, yeah. you're like I'm coming to Dublin. Where shall I? Yeah, eat? well, I, I'm a bit of a foodie, and oh, so right, me um, too. Yeah, really, we should yeah. go out after this. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, no, I'm 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 mad about kind of getting to the best places, the yeah. best secret spots, and and. Um, and I've heard about this place called Crackbird. Yeah. And 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 Great all the DJ uh, yeah, funny name. <laughs> <laughs> and all the DJs, um, when I put it up, I was like, is it any good? All these DJs that I know were like, Oh my god, I've just eaten four chickens there. I've you've gotta go, you've gotta try the So I I think I'm gonna give it a go, but my guitarist is vegetarian, but we're trying to make him <laughs> stop eating only veggies, so we're gonna just give him a half chicken. Right, fair enough. Uh, your mum is also on Twitter as well, isn't she? She, I understand mm. she's very quick to jump to your defence if she doesn't like what she's reading about you. She has been known to do yeah. that, yeah. She, um, she's just a very pushy Jewish mother, what can I say? <laughs> there you go. Uh, lovely to talk to you, you today. You too. And thanks for coming to say hello to us today. You're going to play uh, for us live here, and you've got uh, Joe with you on guitar. Yes. You? Uh, welcome again, Joe. Uh, he's hello. waving. Get the thumbs up there. <laughs> hello. Uh, what are you going to? Uh, so you going to do? Uh, you going to do nightlight? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Jesse Ware with uh, guitarist Joe live in the studio today. Night light in your own time, please. Thanks. Here in the dark. It's funny how I never feel alone Do you? Here in the shadows Away from the light There's darkness under which we hide Like a ghost I cannot see You're the shadow behind me You'll be my night light There when I go to sleep You'll be my night light Baby, when I dream under the moon light Shining on the sea You'll be my night light Watching over me Behind the glass You'll never leave Let's me in when I don't deserve to be Strong when I am weak I wish he could How this hot soul is shadow man Will you come for me? Then like a ghost I cannot see You're the shadow behind me You'll be my night light There when I go to sleep You'll be my night light Baby, when I dream under the moon light Shining on the sea You'll be my night Watching over me Map the way for us to go Tell me where to follow I'm happy to be told I'm happy to be told I'm taking it apart for you to see I could be falling to pieces So let me fall, let me fall into your shade You'll be my night, light There when I go to sleep You'll be my night, light Baby, when I dream under the moon Light and shiny on the sea You'll be my night, light Watching over me Watching over me 
beautiful stuff altogether. I like it. I like it a lot. You. Uh, you're getting several rounds of applause here Thanks. in the studio. That sounded great. Thank you very much indeed. Now you're playing a, a, a by the way, just looking what you're singing there. Uh, incredibly passionate about what you're singing about as well. And uh, and and you've got these huge earrings on. I know. They're kind of getting in the way of the headphones. <laughs> I've just got to say that. I think <laughs> they're, huge, they're enormous I earrings. Know. And, uh, and uh, that sounded great, by the way. Thank you. Uh, sounded, uh, just uh, wonderful. And you're playing tonight with Femi on stage in the Sugar Club at? I like to be on at nine o'clock so everyone can get a good hour, night's sleep. So, yeah, um, I, yeah, heard, I heard you're not one for the encore because you want people no, to go home and get the night's sleep. I just think that they're silly. Everyone knows that you're going to do an encore. If mm. you go off, everyone knows you're going to come back on. So I just think just stay stay on stage and get it done and let everyone just go home at a reasonable hour. Yeah, I like it. Uh, that's, uh, you're right about that. Everybody does the same. Uh, so listen, uh, a couple of tickets to go to see you live in the Sugar Club. If you're in Dublin listening to us or you can make it to Dublin for tonight's gig, Jesse Ware, the Sugar Club tonight, 9 o'clock. Our new album, Devotion, is out at the shops at the moment. Here's the question. We've got two tickets. Uh, Jesse recently nominated for a music prize. Which music prize? All we're looking for uh, is the name of... That that one word, isn't that right? That's yeah. one word. I uh, recently one. nominated for a big uh, music prize last week in the UK. So just a Texas 53102 with that word. Uh, and uh, we'll organize two tickets to go to see her play tonight. Uh, we'll organize your restaurant, don't worry. When you, I know you're going to do a sound check down yeah. at the Sugar Club. And then we'll organize for somewhere for you to eat tonight, okay? Yeah. Before the gig. Beautiful stuff. Thank you. Uh, I'm taking uh, Joe's uh, into consideration a bit of... Uh, no, forget him. He needs to start <laughs> eating meat. <laughs> I want to give him an Irish stew. <laughs> now that... I'll sort you out. <laughs> <laughs> It'll keep you regular. Now from the Today FM Prize.